was driving back from uh, Toronto uh, a few months ago this summer, and, and uh, as you, you go on a road trip, you don't know whether to stop at the mom and pop or the chain. You know, you go to the chain, you get the milk toast. You know, you get the same thing at the KFC or Tim Hortons or whatever. But at least you know what you're getting. Mom and pop you might get great. You know, the big piece of apple pie. You might get you know, not so great. So I chose the mom and pop. And so I, you know, I, I had to go to the bathroom. So I got the key uh, on the big, you know, hockey stick. And I went in, and it was kind of a good early sign, a good omen. It said on the wall, it said, if this uh, bathroom is messy, please contact the management. Unfortunately, the uh, uh, sign was written on the wall in sh So I continued to stop at mom and pop places, and the length of a hockey stick attached to the bathroom keys got bigger and bigger until I finally stopped uh, close to Thunder Bay somewhere, and it was a full hockey stick. It was a nice Easton, and it was left, and I shoot left. Now, I hadn't planned on taking the key home, uh, but at some point, well, I guess, I guess I'm going to take it home now because I could use this stick as like a $200 stick. is ridiculous. I mean, I'm, what's next? Are they going to put antique lamps uh, attached to their keys? Like, do they think that if we stop at some little dive in Sioux Lookout, do they think that I'm like taking this key and going, <laughs> I get home and I say to my wife, oh, I have the key to the bathroom and soon look out. Oh, next time we go there, we're not waiting in line because I got the key. Really? Come on. And really, what is our obligation when we have to go to the bathroom? We don't really want to buy anything. We just have to use the bathroom. How much are we supposed to spend? Is there some kind of unwritten rule? Like if we go to Tim Hortons, do we have to buy a coffee and a muffin? Is that the rule? Well, it's, if it's busy, we're fine, right? If it's busy, you're going to walk right into Tim Hortons, you go right past the line, go to the bathroom, uh, and leave, and nobody knows. But if it's, here's the problem, if it's empty, now you're screwed, right? Because if it's empty, they see, so you have to, you have to do that ploy, eh? where you walk up, and you look at the menu, because you don't really know what Tim Hortons has. That's right, none of us have been there before. Mmm. I wonder what you guys serve. Anyway, so you're looking at the menu and you're going, oh, yeah. And then you kind of do that little thing, oh, I slip off to the bathroom. So you go to the bathroom, you come out, there's still nobody there, so now you have to buy something. I think it's probably a coffee and a muffin. The problem, of course, is that if you have a coffee and a muffin, it just makes you have to go to the bathroom again. Good thing, two blocks away, there's another Tim Hortons. That's right, another Tim Hortons.